Thanks so much for choosing to shine with us this morning. As we always say, the Rural Youth Economic Empowerment Program supports youth between the ages of 18 and 35 by providing them with training, mentoring, business coaching, agricultural inputs, and marketing opportunities to help to raise their abilities to develop, nurture, and grow agricultural-based enterprises in rural Jamaica. Since its inception, the program has trained over 200 youth and awarded venture grant support valuing up to $100,000 to 181 youth agripreneurs. We welcome Oren Davidson, past J Jamaica Forage Club's REAP recipient, and that's spelled R-Y-E-E-P, and Villette Kelly, Bennett, Business and Entrepreneurship Development Manager at the Jamaica Forage Clubs, as they share more about this interesting program, which is the premier, the premier program of the Jamaica Forage Clubs, isn't it? Indeed. Tell me a little Indeed. bit about it. About Jamaica about. Forage Clubs has been in existence for over 80 years. Long time. Long time Not ago. True. Very yes. long, right? There you go. And over the period, we have and ha we have been the main plank in supporting youth in agriculture in Jamaica. We support youth from as early as age five. And so as I heard Javon speaking earlier about entrepreneurship starting from baby, we start them from age five in exposing them to agriculture. And we take them for general programs up to 24. But and these are some of the programs that are available in schools as well. Exactly, yes. exactly. So we call our babies cubbies from age five up to 24. We, however, in 2016, thought it was necessary to place more emphasis on youth in agriculture, particularly entrepreneurship. And so that's how REAP, Rural Youth Economic Empowerment Program, was started. Which is not something that was being paid, paid attention or wasn't given enough attention before. No, because the focus was on my, oh, my father, for example. <laughs> people of that yes, age yes. being involved in agriculture. Yeah. And so we thought in order for the sector to transition, to be transformed, to increase the productivity level, and of course the production for more innovation and technology to be utilized, we must involve and focus on our youth. And so through that, our reprogram was started. Before I bring in Oran uh, into the in discussion, I want you to tell me a little bit about the areas of training that the youth have been exposed to. Through REAP, we expose them to agricultural best practices. We also expose them to business management. Agricultural best practices, we tend to focus on the different areas of agriculture, whether crop, livestock, agro-processing, and of course, farming, we are transforming the sector and we want our young farmers to approach it as a business. And so we also take them through the business management process. So exposing them to the importance of business planning, financial literacy, very key, record keeping, marketing, of course, which is a factor and a function of the challenge, some of the challenges we now experience. We want to help them to develop their markets and to look along the value chain in, in order to sell their produce. We also look on the general operations um, of generally operating an enterprise and we tweak it with the best practices in agriculture depending on the business type. Uh, there you go. Oran, who can bring in now. Tell us about your own involvement and uh, being a recipient. What was that for you? Um, the experience um, being a re re recipient of um, the REAP program was a very interesting one. It taught me a lot of things. Um, yeah, um, she mentioned about um, financial management. It was very key, very key to me. Um, it helped me to manage my finances well because that used to be a struggle before the program. The training, the whole thing was very integral. What was the mindset get going into the training, though? Did you have any expectations uh, going in? Did you feel like this might not work for you? Are you becoming out a su more successful, more educated individual in terms of what to do and not to do? Well, the mindset going in, um, knowing that education is very, um, knowledge about asset field is very important. So I was very interested in, in getting to learn more about business and from experienced business person. Right, so we see some products here, right, before yes. our eyes, and these are, this is your creation. Products, yes. Talk to us a little bit about it. Um, 
So David's is Imperial Honey. We produce honey. I want to hold up this one as well because it's not tambourine balls. These are actually chocolate. <laughs> yes, chocolate. Uh, cocoa. All the time people, chocolate. People know about <laughs> cocoa. Yes. Yes. Um, so that's um, grandma's chocolate. Um, my mother used to make it. Yeah. Used to use the mortar and beat it and make it. And um, I see it and I was interested in it. I like it and I said, I'm going to do it and I'll find an easier way to get a machine. And, I was start about to say that you say your, your grandmother, your mother used to. Yeah, used so to. the word "used to" means that you have a different Change. approach yes. in creating this. So tell us about the machine that you use and what's the in terms of technology because yes. there's an improvement in technology. Right. Yes. So everything now is done differently. Um, tell us about. Yes. It. I say used to the um, the monitor used to take hours to to beat. So the machine, like in split seconds, you can produce massive amount of. And so is it as rich as using the market? It is rich, as rich as using the market. All right. Market. And the honey now, what you, you have right here, bottles of honey. Bottles of honey, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So you have a... No, no, no. Tell, tell, tell us about this. You have your own um, apron. Yes, I have my own apron. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, and Reap has assisted me with getting um, an extractor to deal with, it, um, to deal with the process. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I do my own production. I do the whole process myself, basically. And what's the market like for you? Um, yes, I and market. Who do you my, supply? I market honey in Hanover, Westmoreland, St James, and Trelawney, and um, I have customers like um, Greenwood Plaza and Margaritaville. This is a great success story. Indeed. And just a segue into the. REAP 1000 program. Talk to us a little bit more about that. All right. So from REAP Builder, yes. and we have seen the success, we decided, especially with COVID, we have a number for young persons who are unemployed, who have lost their job, manufacturing, tourism, service sector. And so marking our 80th anniversary, we decided to have a greater impact in the sector and REAP start a 1,000, double 1,000. It is our intent to support at least 1,000 youth in the sector this year. So we, again, we continue to train them and provide them with technical support and inputs in order to start or to strengthen their agri-enterprises. Mm -hmm. And so our REAP Start 1000, similar to our REAP Builder program in which we have support from the Development Bank of Jamaica, Heart Trust NTA, Hypro, some of our private sector, we continue to encourage corporate Jamaica to come on board and to support or to adapt our youth so we can see great improvement, adaptation of technology, and of course, increased production and productivity. I want to talk the a little bit about the funding because they get a grant funding Certainly. of 100,000. Of 100,000. Yes. So REAP Builder, and those are for our youth farmers who are more advanced. They get up to $100,000 through REAP Starter. And let me not say, not 100,000 cash, but we buy the inputs. So through the training, the coaching exercise, we assist them in developing their business plans, business models. We identify those key factors that they need to start or to grow their business, and then we buy and provide them with it. Through REAP Starter, the value will be a little less. It will be 50,000 in value, but the the idea here is to stimulate interest. And from these stimulated interest, then we'll fund at least 100 of them at the builder, rebuilder level of $100,000. And I know that you have competent people to take them through the, 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 the process. But any kind of partnership that is forged with, like the Bureau of Standards and the Scientific Research Council, talk to us about that. All right. Itself. Certainly, Jamaica Forage Clubs, we must uh, celebrate our partners. We can't do Reap Starter or uh -huh, Reap Builder yes. without them. And through Reap Builder and into Reap Starter and onward, we of course work with both private and public sector organizations. Public sector, of course, agencies of Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, BODLs, will provide us with training support, SRC, Bureau Standards. Uh, RADA, of course, Jamaica Agriculture Society, they support us in delivering the training and providing um, support in technical to our young persons. Of course, from our private development, Bank of Jamaica, Heart Trust, NTA, they were our main funders and continue to support. Through our private sector, we are supported through Hypro, for example. In fact, Hypro will be supporting our youth's Reap Starter 1000, providing crop kits and, and feed 
for livestock farmers. We also have persons who provide us with training for young persons and actually go out in the field and do soil testing, so etc. you're catering to every aspect of agriculture. We're catering to every aspect. And I must add as well, normally agriculture, we limit it to in the soil. We have moved it up the chain and we're moving to agro-processing. And through our small grants projects through the Global Environment Fund, we're also setting up an incubator uh, agro-processing okay. incubator mm -hmm. in which we'll now train them but also provide that base facility where they're able to do some of their processing and take it to their own space and continue the production Amazing. and move it to this market. This is a great success story. Indeed. And I'm sure you've broadened your knowledge in terms of operating as an entrepreneur, the financial aspect of it, taking it seriously and all of that. It's amazing. The, lab the labeling is really, really clean and nice and I'm sure it's well passed by the Bureau of Standards. Okay. Standardized as well. The products are, look there, world-class products. There you go. Thank you, lady Thank and gentlemen. You. Thank wish you, you too all for the having very best us. in the projects, and I wish you all the best in your business as Thank you move you forward. Much. But can you just, how can people get in touch with the Jamaica Forage Clubs? Okay. Uh, Jamaica Forage Clubs may be contacted through our parish offices or you may go online www.jamaicaforageclubs.com or telephone numbers 876-927-4050. We have our Facebook page, Instagram, t Twitter, so we're out there and we invite persons, both private, public and our young persons, to get in contact with us as we continue to support youth in agriculture. How can people Jamaica. find you to support um, your business? You can um, find Davis's Imperial on Facebook at Davis's Imperial. Um, but okay, thank you so much. I wish you all the very best.